Hello everyone, my name is Constance and this is Mysteries of the Heart brought to you by Mysterious Hearts. Today we are going to be talking about your heart camp experience. So your heart camp experience is based on the camps that you've been to or if you're very very interested in attending a camp then I highly recommend going to one. I know that 2020 has been a rough year and right now camps are not looking to house anybody or you know take in any campers hopefully by 2021 camps will be up and rolling by next year so in this podcast i am going to be talking about you know my heart camp experience how i went through it how i felt during it and what it was like to be there as a camper now what i do recommend is asking your cardiologist about it because my cardiologist the guy that's been with me since before I came out of the womb, he is the one that recommended that I go to this camp. There is a camp called Camp Del Corazon in California. Um, They start from age 7 to 17, and it is the best 10 years of your life that you will ever, ever get. I guarantee it, no matter what. Um... As well as there is another camp based in Arizona called Nick and Kelly Heart Camp. I believe they go through the same ages and they are just as amazing as well. And I will be talking about them on another podcast. But right now I'm just going to focus on my heart camp experience and what I did. So I've been attending Camp Del Corazon since I was eight. Um, A big thing was that I had to get used to being away from my parents at a young age because I was super, super excited about going and I was really, really young. So my parents had to put a lot of trust in the staff that's there, which is, you know, registered nurses. They have doctors on staff. They have people that are really, really trained and they know how to care for your child while they're away. And being eight years old, I was very attached to my family at that time. Um, so I really just, I didn't want to leave, you know, I never wanted to go away and go do other things. So it was, it was a pretty, it was a pretty nice change of scenery. I will say that because you can get out of that helicopter parent element. Um, having helicopter parents is not a bad thing. Your parents really care for you and they want to take care of you and they just want to be a part of your life and a part of what you're doing so going away to camp is kind of like letting yourself be free and allowing your parents to get a sense of freedom away from the child as well i do recommend that if it's your first time sending your child to camp even as a youngin or even as somebody in their teens you're just going through the same exact emotions that they're going through you know teenagers may be like okay i'm leaving get off me i'm gonna be okay a younger child is probably gonna be a little more stuck to you a little more i don't want to leave i don't want to leave you at first i was like that and then every year after that i was so set on going that i was so willing to miss school just to attend this camp because i've made friends and family and being at that camp just made me have a home away from a home. And I will say that um, Camp Del Cortezon does go to Catalina Island. So you are outside all the time, basically. You're near a beach, or for the girls' camp, they're near the beach, and then the boys' camp is up in the trees a little bit. There. You know, they got a little nice little element to themselves. Each side is separated, but it's it's so pretty and it's so beautiful to be up there. Catalina Island is like a whole nother experience because to be sleeping by the beach in a nice little uh, bunk bed, you know, below or above your friend is something you've never experienced before. If, you know, you don't sleep at a bunk bed in your own house or, you know, you don't have your friends stay over all the time, it's completely great. You can hear the waves crashing at night. You can hear the soft, soft sounds 
of just quietness, of just bliss. And that's what it's like to be at camp. I did mention that I did make new friends and I basically have a heart family. So my friends that I have met from a cumulative of years of going to camp, as I did say, I've been attending since I was eight years old. They are people that you can reach out to at any time. You don't have to talk to them all the time. You can reach out to them at any time. You know, you're scared, you have something going on with your heart, you need somebody to talk to, anything. You meet plenty of new friends and you are just encapsulated by everybody around you because they all know what it's like to be a heart patient. They all know what it's like to go through what you're going through. And those friends are lifelong friends. I have friends now that I occasionally, very briefly talk to because I am now an adult and we're busy with our lives and everything. But if I needed to, I know that I could reach out to them and say, hey, you know, I miss you. I want to talk to you. I want to know what's happening in your life and what's going on. They just, they become your heart family and they become your other support system and If you don't have a big support system now, they can also become that major support system for you. Your friends are your family once you come home from that camp. And once you come home from the Nick and Kelly camp, each group is just amazing. Not only do you, you know, get these friends and get a family at the end of it, you also grow into a new person. You become somebody that is unimaginable throughout the years. You just grow and grow and grow. And I remember being young and just being a little kid and stuff like that. And I remember when I hit my rough patch in my sophomore year and I was so just looking forward to going to camp the next year because I had so much stuff going on mentally that I couldn't really deal with it. And the only place I wanted to be was camp. And you just, you learn new things about yourself. You learn these leadership skills. You learn how to be open and honest. And you learn how to love and be kind and be more welcoming. And you just find your sense of personality and comfort when you go to camp. For myself, I definitely evolved over the years and by the end of it I felt so crushed because it was such a big transition going from eight years old to a 17 year old and saying this is it I'm going to come back as a counselor because I want to have these kids that are younger than me have the same or similar to experience that I have had while I've been here. And you you get that as you go throughout the, as you go throughout those years. And even if you attend camp for one year, if you get that opportunity, you still grow within that that little time frame. You grow men, you grow your mental state beyond what you could possibly imagine because you just are loved you're just it's just a brand new place for you to be you and for you to be however you've always wanted to be a good thing about camp that i've recognized in both camps cdc and nick and kelly is that you're never really pushed past your limits. Being a heart patient, we all come with our own limitations. We all come with our own, I need a minute, I need to stop. I I just, I just gotta take a break. Your counselors, your support staff, they are there to help you through that and never say, go, because you can do it. Go, 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 go in a bad way. They're always like, go if you can, go if you can do this go because you got this. You're pushed in a healthy way. You're not pushed in a not in a confrontational way. And you are never judged. You're always loved. You're always encouraged. And you never have to think that you're less than and that you're not strong enough because 
they just all uplift you. Everybody around you uplifts you. It's, it is like being so, so loved all the time and being so happy and just outgoing. And even if you're shy, you start to come out of your shell and you start to realize that this is so amazing. This is going to be how it's going to be for however many years you go there because you are just the best that you can be. You are being the best to whatever limit you have that you can handle and you just feel accomplished the entire time. You eat a plate of greens, you got up all the way on the rock wall, you took it all the way up on a giant on the giant swing. You went out and you swam all the way to the trampoline in the ocean. There are so many things to do and there are so many limitations that you push yourself past because you want to experience these things while you're at camp. And you always have that team. You always have that family and those friends that you've just made right behind you encouraging you or right next to you saying, hey, we're almost there. Can you believe that? This is going to be so much fun. I'm ready when you are. And at the end of it, at the end of it, you just enjoy every bitter, sweet second of your time there. You enjoy how it's been those for that five days, for those six days. You enjoy it because it's something you may or may not have experienced before. (coughs) You fall in love with the idea of being on a mini vacation every year by the time school rolls around. So you're like, wow, I'm really going to come back to this place. Because the time that you spent there has been the greatest time of your life. And I know this was a podcast talking about my experience. That was my experience and words in describing how it's going to be for somebody else is how it was exactly for me. Because it was like bliss and happiness and loveliness and It was everything I needed it to be when I was younger and as I grew up going through it. Camp Del Corazone taught me more than I could have possibly ever taught myself without going there. Nick and Kelly did the same thing when they took me on as a counselor. Each place has their own unique individuality and each place is so loving and welcoming and so so great it's just a home away from home and I would I would give anything to go back right now I would do anything to be back on the beach, (laughs) looking up at the stars, hearing the ocean at night, remembering that boys cannot go over to the girls' camp and girls cannot go over to boys' camp and there's a gaga pit and (sighs) it's beautiful. It's It's just unimaginable. (coughs) I guess what I'm trying to say is talk to your cardiologist 
about attending a heart camp and see if you can get out there because these places are wonderful. They're just fantastic. I love, I love each one. And I would, I would change the world right now to go back a couple months, to be in July and August again, to to go up to Prescott for Nick and Kelly in July, and to go all the way back out to Catalina Island in August or September. For Cam Del Corazon. I would. I would give anything for those two. That That is all for today's podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. I do hope that we... We'll see you on the next podcast. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful night. My name is Constance. This is Mysteries of the Heart, brought to you by Mysterious Hearts.